threats to her life, client betrayal, and a volatile political climate forced one woman out of her country and into the United States. She landed in Chicago and just a short time found the courage to reinvent herself. And now she's focused on helping other women do the same. In mm -hmm. honor of Women's History Month, let me introduce you to this lawyer turned entrepreneur intent on giving back. If someone told Irene Montiel two years ago that she'd co-own and manage this Logan Square pet supply shop, she wouldn't have believed it. I believe in magic. I think that magic is not what people think it is. It wasn't magic, but fear, though, that prompted the 51-year-old to flee Venezuela and head to the U.S. two years ago. Irene gave up a successful 20-year law practice where she helped minors fight for their rights and their homes. And then the political climate and a client turned on her, and she says she found herself behind bars, falsely accused of stealing. I saw horrible things in prison. It was not not even a prison, it was a detention center. When she got out with help from people inside, she knew her life would never be the same. If something like that could happen to me, uh, there was no law. Like, everything changes, your whole life changes, the perspective. Irene first landed on the West Coast and then Chicago, where she met Saul Osaki, the owner of the Logan Square Auditorium. Their meeting would be life-changing. I gave him a call and said, hey, I need help. Long story short, I, I started managing the building. Saul had an empty storefront and told Irene he'd give it to her in exchange for a good business idea during work breaks outside. And I saw the dogs and dogs and people with their dogs and people with their pets. And pitched the pet supply store idea to Saul. I thought he was gonna say it was stupid and he loved it. Less than a year later, her idea is now this reality. Saul's a silent partner. The indigenous woman of Ecuador that make these beautiful little sweaters. And Irene is using her new business to help women around the country and the world. I found uh, like things from Africa. I have those baskets that are made by the African woman and I think from abused woman of Pakistan. By selling their wares. I think like everybody wants to change the world, right? And we think we have to do extraordinary things and we need a lot of resources. And I realize at my age that everybody can change the world in their space. Irene, who now also works alongside her grown daughter, says she's also focused on building her online business as a way to further help women sell the goods that they make in this country and around the world. That is an absolutely wonderful story. Yeah, thank and you. And well told. I, thank was, you for bringing that to I us. I appreciate that. It was great meeting her. I met her at the dog show and chatted with her for a long time. And that thought, is so inspiring. Where, where is that shop? It's in Logan Square, mm -hmm. right on Logan Boulevard. Okay. Yeah. So, they got, uh, it looks like they got really neat stuff there. Yeah, but I mean, to go to entrepreneur in that short a time. Yeah, it takes a lot of, it takes courage and guts. determination mm -hmm. and belief in yourself. Yeah.